Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to model this stylish sofa in 3ds Max, step by step in the easiest way possible. Let's get started. First, create a rectangle based on your preferred size. Apply an Edit Poly modifier. Now, select the front and top faces and delete them to create an open shape. Apply the Shell modifier and give it some outer thickness. You can follow the exact values shown in the video. Press Ctrl plus V to create a copy of this mesh. I'll change the color so it's easier to understand the difference. Set the outer thickness to zero and adjust the inner thickness instead. Scroll down and enable strengthen corners under the shell modifier. Do the same for both pieces. Now apply another edit poly modifier. Select all edges and add a slight chamfer, just enough to help hold the shape when we apply Turbo Smooth later. Select the front edges and use the Connect tool. Set the value to 11. Then press R and scale along the X axis to straighten the edges. Next, select the side edges and connect them with a value of 4. Repeat this step for the matching edges on the other side. Now select the faces as shown in the video. These include the side, front, and top faces only. Make sure not to select any of the back or bottom faces. Go to the ribbon menu, enable local pivot point, and drag the selected faces along the Z local axis to give it that puffed look. Add a Turbo Smooth modifier to preview the result. Then go back to Edit Poly and slightly scale down those puffed faces. Now, select the stitching edges as shown. We're basically choosing the edges that need to look sewn. Right-click and apply a negative extrude. Apply a nice subtle negative extrude for the seam effect.
Increase the turbo smooth iterations to refine the details. Finally, add legs of your choice. In this example, I've used simple box legs for demonstration. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And feel free to leave a super thanks if you'd like to support the channel.